Hey everyone, it's Triple Mango Threat or Ashley, and today I want to talk about Commander Politics. So let's jump right into it. So to set the scene, uh, last night I was playing Commander with Jen, Bobby Christine, and Andy. I was playing Brina the Demagogue, which really cares about counters and opponents drawing cards if they attack the opponent that has a higher life total, and it's not the lowest, and it's not me. So combat is awesome with that deck. What's never happened before is while I was playing that deck, opponents were actually attacking each other. And so Brina got really big. We're talking like plus 16, plus 16 counters on it, and it got out of hand. And I also had Duelist Heritage on the battlefield. So I was able to take out one of my opponents with my commander, which was super cool. But the issue was that game, I was not drawing enough creatures. It was all enchantment based that game. So in the end, I ended up losing that game because I was able to take out two opponents and Andy swung in for the win. So all of that to say, I want to talk about commander politics specifically whenever I was starting to target Bobby Christine or Jen, their life totals got significantly significantly lower, especially when I had a 16-16 commander. So this makes it where players are less likely to hit the lowest life total unless they can take them out completely. So don't underestimate being the lowest life total because players will most likely avoid you. They will not interact with you unless it's one to two damage, which I think that everyone's okay with usually. Also playing Brina, it gets me out of my comfort zone. And what I mean by that is I don't like to deal opponents combat damage, which sounds weird because you want to bring everybody's life total to zero except yours. And Brina does the opposite of that. It encourages combat and it encourages card draw, which I love, but opponents get that. Or if I hit the opponent with the not least life total. So as you can see, I made myself a big target for the game. I had a huge commander that could take anybody out and also duelist heritage. I even had a cunning rhetoric. So if somebody decided to swing at me, I can exile the top card of their library and I can cast that with mana that can be spent anyway. So becoming the target of the game can be a tricky situation. So how do you get out of that? Well, normally you don't unless you start, let's say, losing your whole board and you have to rebuild. Then I think people will Will avoid you for however long that's going to take until of course they can win the game. And game two I played Toshiro the Shattered Blade so again this is combat focused or more aura equipment and then I make creatures from that but again combat focused I'm making my creatures bigger plus one plus one counters and again I was able to pick on a lot of my opponents here still putting myself out of my comfort zone which is a good thing in magic to be honest and these were just the pre-cons this wasn't uh maybe if they were upgraded uh the lands were better but still it was just the pre-con power I think Andy took over most of the second game because he had Thantis and his deck was a lot of forced combat so he even had the beholder that I can't think of the name but it says that whenever you attack an opponent you lose one life and draw a card and Andy also got to lose one life and draw a card but like I was saying Andy was really ahead in that game but Jen Bobby Christine and I were able to somehow take him out and then we're all at like seven life total I'm pretty sure it was really low life total and then out of nowhere Bobby Christine just goes triumph of the hordes and although I lost to that card, I want to say that I learned a valuable lesson. Whenever you are attacking, you want to make sure that you can evaluate everybody's boards. Because I left myself almost wide open. I think I had one creature able to block and then I made two come out of nowhere. So I was kind of able to manipulate the situation. But what's important is that blockers actually matter and do not full swing at your opponents unless you have a spell that you can instant speed save yourself. And another tip for Commander, if you're interested in casting free spells, you should check out this video right here. This is going to give you the guide to free spells and EDH under $5, which is great for budget players. And thank you to the patrons who help support this show. And thank you to the viewers like you who help by liking, subscribing, commenting. All of that is very helpful. And I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, peace.